So then, we are back with more understanding from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services, where we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Yitzhak lineage, so then we can understand the time of the end, as per Yerushiahu the prophet, the unwanted prophet. And we are precisely studying his prophecies, because came from heaven. And then, the time of the end, as per then Metuchiahu, the Levite, because the Levitical priests were very acquainted with tabernacling. Then we find prioritizing ourselves, understanding how it's going to play out the time of the end. So then, what do we understand of economical zones? Not very familiar these days because our governments are most of them repleted with thieves, with the scandalized system, with the time of deceit, mid-person stealing money from the government, stealing money from the people, gorging themselves with somebody else's money. How is it going to be in the future? Well, let's evaluate how China is. How is their economical system? How do we understand this area of economical zones? How is it going to play out in the future? As we understand, then, obviously, there is the neutral system. This is something that people are waiting for, for so long. The lining up of the economical systems. Then we can understand, obviously, the subdivisions of the economical areas. This means areas of industry. Let's say you are from a part of the country where you have a nice port. You have a nice place over there, or a refinery, or then a fuel depot. If you have a very nice four-lane roads coming and going, you're going to be a subdivision, or then a subzone, or then economical zone. A country of its own. Why? Because we are going to be linked up with the economical system of China. Chinese system, we have to understand their culture, their understanding of economics. Then we understand, obviously, there won't be any more the strength of government. The kingdoms shall be divided. Explaining of a system, explaining of a neutral system. It's going to be organization. It's going to be then services, but government as we understand from the time of the thousand years is absolutely changed. You are not talking about people anymore. They walk around as big shots as if they were gods. No, they are scoundrels. Most of them are thieves. They are going to be walking around if they do a nice job as far as the service is concerned. They have to maintain the roads, they have to maintain the electrical system, they have to maintain plumbing. They are not going to be walking around as big shots anymore. Their job is to maintain the system tracked. Make sure that the government is monitoring constantly, unrelenting monitoring of their taxes. Other than this, they are going to serve the people. Because they, they don't have brains to understand how the system is going to work, the sub-zones and the economical zones, they are going to be rendered as stupid. They don't have any more these nice words, you know, speaking of jargon, of, you know, political words where you have to treat them in a certain way with a certain words. No. If they don't know how to do the job, they are stupid. That's the way it's going to be. Because the world is no longer taking these scoundrels as their leaders. They are going to be leaders of themselves. Try to understand. Comes the system. You download the system in your computer. And there is an icon over there. Investment. You invest in the product you want. You are not going to invest in the company. You are going to invest in the product. So then your precious money that you work so hard for it is not going to the company, is not going to the bank. The bank is not going to invest the money for you in gorging themselves with their own earnings. You have to do yourself. You're going to be your own CEO, your own banker. 
And then if the government does not know how to do the job, they're going to be rendered stupid. Because you're going to laugh of how easy is the new system. There are people that are going to be 24-7, day and night in the system. They're going to be logged on in there, and they're going to stay there 24 hours a day. Then if the government is not competent of gathering taxes, taking care of the roads, taking care of the ports, make sure the conditions of. They're going to start hearing very nasty words from the people. They're going to be awkward. Because they were born during the time of deceit. They used deceit to get their way, but there is no longer deceit. There is a system of the Chinese dragon. Dragon is not deceit. He's absolutely precise. However, there is another agenda related with tabernacling. So let's say, for instance, there is an island over there of the Pacific where they don't have much. Let's say they are mostly fishing. They have some plantations over there, some bananas. They have a very bit of production. However, they are living in a, amongst, in quote, a chain of islands where they has to have delivery. Obviously, UPS is going to come up with boats and deliver parcels. What would be the best for the chain of islands? Having a fuel depot. Where they can become intermediary for those boats. Then go to some place else. Then comes another freighter, another ship. Constantly refueling. Economical zones, then you are in a part of the country that doesn't have much. But then you understand the system, you have to become a sub-zone or then economical zone. Then start up a factory. What is the best product at the moment? Trucking. Where do we find? Gala, read Gala. And the freighters. Freighters are in charge. What do you understand of freighters? When Yohanan was receiving those understandings from the Messiah, directly from the Messiah, the Messiah was not talking about only freighters. He was talking about transport. Why did they use ships back then? Because ships were the most popular. Why didn't they not use camels? Well, on land, they used to transport on camels. Why didn't he say the camels of the earth, or then the merchants of camels? No, he says ships, merchants, because it's bulk, volume. Is that bulk, volume? No, he's talking about transportation. Merchants of the earth. Do you find any religion in Galah? Barely. You find direct relation with Daniel, you find direct relation with what Daniel was doing, his function. As then a politician and traitor. Not a function of the tabernacling, though he did understand the tabernacling. People are going to be busy. They are not going to be wallowing around in junky religion crap. Those times are gone. You know, you yourself giving your money to companies then tied up with religion in some sort of a system of their own where they steal your money, steal it from the government, steal it from the people, engorging themselves with your money and the government's money. Those people are out. When the system comes, you're going to have your own. The only creator, he's very smart. He doesn't take on religion as part of his plan. You are the worker, you work, you get paid for it, and you invest on your own. What do we understand of the future? Obviously the local elders are going to be involved with the workers. Companies, they're going to invest in the system, however, they have to have workers.
If they are nasty with the workers, they won't show up for work. They're going to be in a computer. Because have this in mind, they're going to invest in products. They're not going to invest in companies, and in turn they have the mid-person over there. This mid-person is tied up with some sort of a religious system, and then the market going up and down, up and down. Nobody knows what's going on. It's always going up. There is always a product out there that's going up. Always a product going up. Always another country coming out of poverty. Always more than electric wires. More tires for trucks. More parts. You're going to invest in those areas. Why are you going to work for? However, the economical zones of these cities, they have to have manufacturing of their own. So they have to come up with a deal. How does China function? Sub-economical zones. So cities that are near the ocean make sure that the mayors over there come up with a port. Roads, at least a main road, four lanes going in and out because you're going to have a lot of movement of trucking. And the politicians, when they show up with their faces, their lavished faces, if they talk crap, they're going to hear on their faces. What they speak does not make any sense. It's going to be rendered stupid. There comes the stupid. Trying to mesmerize the people because a person has a title and then walking around as big shots. Those times are gone. Evaluating for what's coming... They are nearly gone. So what would be the best deal of the world? Investing in Africa and in Amazon. Both places. Why? Because of mining. Then you have logs, minerals, coal tan. What do you have to have? You have to have heavy machineries. You have to have trucks. Long hauls. You know, the Amazon over there, the Amazon jungle is twice the size of the state of Texas. Some areas you can't even penetrate. You have to go by air for miles, hours. You know, flying those DC Douglas aircraft from the time of the Second World War takes a bit of time. They don't use jet engines over there because the environment is very rough. It has to be those DC Douglas, otherwise you can't fly. But we are so modern, isn't it? People from the city, oh, he has to have an airport. No, he doesn't have an airport. It has an airstrip over there. And then, replete with holes. If it wasn't for the Douglas aircraft, those people would not have provisions. And there are no roads going over there. So you can imagine, when the Trans-Amazon goes from south to north, it's going to link up. The nations of the north, what do you have to have? Trucks. And let me ask you this, do you think the government is going to have space for unindustrious people? No, if a person does not understand the industry, they are out of there. People are no longer interested in titles. What are they going to do for the city? Oh, I want to do this, this, this. Okay, so then what are you waiting for? He comes around with his smiles and trying to be a big shot. Stupid! What is the old saying? Get your ducks in line. Economical zones. 
It's not going to have those people anymore always injecting money in the system. Forget it. They're going to invest in their own. The subsystem is going to be there only because of a transfer funding from the system of the Chinese and the way people get paid. Speaking of banks, no more savings. Savings are gone. So banks, be ready to be active without savings. Checking the bare minimum. The only way our nation is going to come out of crisis is by a real industry. Where you have then an increase of the amount of funding in checking because of the real industry. No more junking around ah, because... So if you are a politician who doesn't know how to put up a fence in your backyard, you are out. How are you going to teach industry to other people? And show up before the workers with your mesmerization of stupidity? Any person can go to the government, get the money, and then start up roads. And the government should be prepared because people are not going to pay their dues. If they are not instantly taxed, they are not going to pay for it. The Creator always has a law of compensation. It's amazing. The government screwed the workers for so long then it's time for the politicians to get screwed. No taxation, people are not going to pay taxes. They're going to be investing in a system where they have no way of tracking. So the government is going to have a sense of being screwed. Plus, they are so stupid, some of them don't even know how to put up a fence in the backyard. And then they're going to have to speak before the people. Such as these politicians over there in the White House. Amazing. Those people don't even know how to put a fence. They don't know how to fix a piece of wire in their own houses. And if you listen very cautiously to their titles when they work, it's absolutely ridiculous. Why is this person then earning 225000 a year, house paid for, car from the government, gasoline paid for, benefits, gets up, talks a bit, sits down, gets up, talks a bit, sits down, lunch paid for, breakfast paid for, And then a person talks, does not make any sense. Where is the taxation system? Where is the instant taxation system? Where are we at with our energy production? Coal, power plants, trucking. Who cares of religion? Nobody's interested in religion. Can religion pay your salary at the end of the month? No, they steal from you. The order from the Creator was once a year during the Feast of Tabernacles. Why you give your money to these scoundrels for? Ah, because... Ah, nah, 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 nah. Because... Shaul said then those who are living by the gospel should be paid by the gospel. 
He was speaking during the time of a transition. Time of transition where he was then the Shaliak delivering the word of Ruach HaKodesh to his people. So they would tabernacle around. While he was doing the teaching, he was simply saying, those who can help him with his basics should do so, because he then is lining up his people for tabernacling. Is tabernacling gone? A long time ago. Is it returning? It is returning. Yeah, because Shaul said, those who by the gospel be paid by the gospel. Transitional time, and you are not even set apart. You are a Gentile, mesmerized with your head, replete with crap from religion. And you give your money away as a stupid. It might be a bit strong, but fits. You know, you should not give any money to his pastor, teachers, or scoundrels of any kind of a religion. You are to give your money once a year during the Feast of Tabernacles. The rest of it is yours. You should then invest your money. And this is precisely what's coming. Tabernacling is coming back. People are going to be aware of tabernacling. And they are going to work. The situation of people coming in the government as big shots, you know, coming in in limousines and, you know, there is a chauffeur over there opening for them and, you know, red carpet. It's going to be in existence. <laughs> These people, they are going to be investing in Chinese system because there is no other system. Where are they going to invest their money? Euro in Europe? No. The euro is going to be broken. English pound? No. The kingdoms shall be divided. I didn't say it was the prophet that said. If you have a problem, talk to the Creator. Only have in mind the Creator never made a mistake. going to invest your money. The standards are not yet set. Our government plans to go into those Ozarks. Going down underground as reptiles. What kind of a system can you expect on the surface? What is it going to value what you have? What is the Proportion of value of transfer what you think is worth versus the monetary system when it fails. You can't determine because the money, the paper, is no longer valid. What is it worth? Now go over there and talk to your pastor. He knows the answer. You know what I was going to say to you? Oh, let's hope that God. What God? What God? Your own, your very own God that destroyed our nation because of his stupidity? You don't understand? Tabernacling? There won't be any more religion. It's going to be eldership. Eldership in congregations. True congregations. Where those people who are saved in the Messiah, they're going to be doing galain. They're going to come around for teaching. Not the set apart. The set apart, they have their own agenda. 
those are directly receiving orders from the Creator what they should do. The rest of us, Galaim people, doing Galaim for the Messiah, we are going to have our own congregations. Get around, listen to Galaim, and then disperse. So economical zones. The best deal in the market at the moment is trucking. Understanding Amazon. Understand Congo, Africa. The mineral riches over there. Trucking is going to be big. Railroads are complicated. Dealing with the jungle. Dealing with areas where then Having tracks is very expensive. You have to have towns. You have to have machines. The most readily available trucks, freighters in charge. And if you are an elder, ignorant, you don't know what you are talking about. You are going to have, you know, you know that observance of, uh, you know, you are being a... If you want to be an elder, you have to be knowledgeable. You have to understand what goes on with the world. So it's not only being old. You have to be old, wise, and knowledgeable. You have to combine them. And from amongst the nations then comes the Ishmaelites. They are going to decide who is going to have crude, who is not going to have crude. They are going to evaluate if this nation is doing much evil, no crude. If they are not being kind, if they are not taking care of their people, if they are not being then concerned with the elders and then with the widows, if they are neglecting those areas, they are not going to get crude. It's fine, the Chinese system works very fine, but without crude, they can't go very far. Can they get crude from someplace else? Sure, limited quantity. So the center of reunion is going to be Arabia. Maintaining nice relationships, maintaining nice organized system where they can understand what are then the areas of the world that must be improved. Does you understand the relationship of the Creator with Ibrahim, first son and second son? But the world always has his trying to do their own way, you know. Third temple and try to come up a religion of their own and they think they can do what they did during the time of the thousand years. Oh no. When the Chinese system comes, it's going to change overnight. In quote, these big shots, they think themselves in these governments, you know, their titles are going to be absolutely broken in front of their very faces. Senator, mayor, governor. Then they glance at the system, they're going to be like rats. 
Not saying they are rats. But the titles means absolutely nothing. 